everybody. Good morning. And it is good to be back here with you. We took a little bit of a break. So happy new year. And I hope everyone had a fantastic Christmas because I have not met with you since before Christmas. So I hope everyone's well. And here's your big virtual squeezes and hugs because I miss you so much. Um, today is going to be a fun lesson. And I am enjoying this because it let me come down something called memory lane when I was pulling together some important things to share with you today. So we're going to kick right into it. First questions first, how many of you remember being baptized? I know I don't remember because I was a little, little baby. I saw pictures though, it looked kind of cool. Do you remember yours? It's okay if you didn't because many of us get baptized when we're little. Now, the next question is who knows what happens during baptisms? How many of you have paid attention to that when it's happened during church? when the babies or the kiddos get to come back to the gigantic seashell in our sanctuary with the holy water in it. I know you guys know that seashell. I've seen you touching water in it. So that's where the baptisms happen in our church. So what happens? What does the pastor do during that? A lot, okay? So I wanna share with you three things that are important when somebody is baptized, okay? So here's something that I haven't seen in 17 years, but this is Anthony's baptism outfit that he wore. Okay, so my son Anthony wore this. He had a little hat, a little belt, a little white suit and a white sweater, all right? So usually babies wear white when they're baptized because the color symbolizes something called innocence and purity, all right? Now, for those of you who were baptized, just wondering if you still have your candle from your baptism. All right, usually the candles lit during the baptism to show the light of Jesus. All right, and many families keep their candles and light them on special days. So here's Anthony's. And again, I'm gonna be honest with you, this got put away 17 years ago. He was baptized on December 21st, 2003. And we put this candle away then and it it's only now come out 17 years later, just so I can show you. So some families light it probably on the baptism birthday or anniversary every year, or maybe on the confirmation, maybe used for a wedding later, but it's a symbol of Jesus light. But then the next thing, which I know you guys get excited about when you do watch these baptisms is watching the water and what happens with the water. So what does the pastor do with the water? She takes the water and she pours it over the baby's head, okay? And when the pastor does that, the water is symbolic and it means that the sins have been washed away and we are welcomed into God's kingdom. So here's the little napkin that was used, the little cloth napkin that was used to wipe off Anthony's head. So we kept that. I can't show you the water, but I can show you what wiped off the water just so that he wasn't soaking wet when he was done because he wasn't happy. So that's a baptism, candle, white, and water. Did you know that even Jesus got baptized? Yep. So today you're going to hear more about that in our lesson. All right. But remember, more importantly, through all this lesson, the biggest important thing to remember about a baptism is that's when we 100% become part of God's family and we become a brother or sister in Christ with each other. All right. So, as always, I have questions for you to talk about with your grown-ups and your people around you. Do you think that Jesus had any objects like these when he was baptized? What do you think he might have had? I have no idea. I would love to hear what you think. Um, what can we do after we've been welcomed into God's family? So we make promises during that baptism and our godparents and our moms and dads make promises during that baptism. So what do we do after we become brothers and sisters in Christ during our baptism? And then the question that you can ask your parents or your grownups or people around you is how old were you when you were baptized? If you can't remember, just ask them how old you were. Were you a couple months old, a couple weeks old, a couple years old? You know what? And there are even some people that don't get baptized until they're grownups. And that's okay. So there you go. 
those are your thoughts. That's your welcome message. And I will talk to you after for our prayer. So enjoy our lesson today. See you later. Hello. So today we're going to go back to a song that we learned way back at the beginning of Sunday school year. And that was our Spark My World with Stories of Love. Spark My World with Stories of Peace. Stories of Jesus giving light to the world. Spark my world with joy. So get ready. I'll do the best I can with putting in those words, but I think that you're going to remember how it goes. So here comes Spark My World. everybody. It is so good to be here with you guys and to have a little Sunday school time again. I hope you had a great Christmas and a fun new year and I hope your classes are starting up good again. I'm so sad that I don't get to see you in person right now and hear about all the wonderful things that you did and, and all the wonderful Christmas presents that you got. But if you want to take a picture of a Christmas present and have your parents send it to me, I would love to be able to celebrate some of your Christmas joy with you. But today I'm here because I am going to tell you a Bible story. And before I do that, I want to uh, remind you of somebody we were talking about a few weeks ago. I don't know if you remember, but we were talking about this crazy guy who lived out in the wilderness whose name was John. Do you remember him? Can you see that picture right there? Yeah, his name was John the Baptist. And do you remember him? He ate grasshoppers. Anyway, he comes back in today's story because here's something maybe you didn't know about him. In addition to being a crazy guy out in the wilderness, he was also Jesus's cousin. Did you know that, that John and Jesus were cousins? So one time when he was out baptizing, guess who came to see him to get baptized? Did you guess Jesus? Because that's right. So today I'm going to tell you the story about when Jesus got baptized. Okay, are you ready for the story? Now before we begin, I want you to pay attention and listen for the words baptize and baptism. And every time you hear one of those words, I want you to take your finger and make a little cross on your forehead. Can you do that? Can you try that now? Go down and then across. Every time you hear the word baptize or baptism. So here's the story. Jesus' baptism. You make your cross. While Jesus was living in Galilee, his cousin, John the Baptist, was preaching out in the country of Judea. The people loved John and came to see and hear him whenever they could. Sometimes crowds of people came to see John by the Jordan River. When the crowds came, John would tell them, change what needs changing in your life. God's kingdom is here. The people would promise to change their lives, and then John would baptize. John would baptize them to show that they were a new person in God's eyes. I baptize you, and we're going to baptize, with plain old water from the Jordan River, but that is nothing to compare to what and who is coming, John would shout. The one who is coming will baptize you with God's own spirit. 
With God's spirit, you will be changed from the inside out. Who do you think John the Baptist is talking about? Let's turn the page and see. While John was saying this, Jesus appeared. He asked John to baptize him. But John wasn't so sure about that. What? Me? Baptize you? Don't forget to make the sign. He said, I think it should be the other way around. But Jesus insisted, do it, John. He said, God does amazing things in baptism. So John did what Jesus asked and baptized him. Almost forgot that one. All the way under the water in the Jordan River, Jesus went. When he splashed up out of the river, Jesus saw the skies open up and he saw God's spirit. It looked like a dove gracefully floating down to land on him. And there was a voice too. The voice said, this is my son. He has been chosen and marked by my love. He is the great joy of my life. So do you know why I had you make that sign on your forehead? You know what that sign was, right? It's a cross. Yeah, we have a lot of those in church. Do you know why I had you make that every time I said the word baptism? It's because when we baptize people now, one of the things we do is we put water on their head and then I take a little bit of oil and I make that sign of the cross on their forehead. And when you were baptized, somebody did that for you, even if you don't remember that. And they said, you are marked by the cross of Christ. And so even though you don't always see that cross there, it's there. Do you remember what God said to Jesus at the end of the baptism story? God's the spirit comes down like a dove and it says, this is Jesus and he has been marked by my love. And when you were baptized, God's spirit marked you too with God's love. And you know what else the spirit said in the story? The spirit said, Jesus is the great joy of my life. And when you were baptized, God said the same thing about you, that you are just a joy. And do you know what? God still says that about you. So when you're feeling kind of bad, which we all do from time to time, or you're sad or you're scared or you're worried, one of the things that you can do is to remember that you are baptized and that you are marked by God's love. And that will be with you always. And when we go to church, when we finally get to come back to our church, when we come in the door, we have a baptismal font right there. And you can dip your finger in the water and put a little water on your forehead. But do you know you can use water to remember your baptism even when you're not at church? When you wash your hands, and boy, are we supposed to wash our hands a lot, right? Yeah, so every time you wash your hands, you can think just like that water is cleaning me. When I was baptized, I was cleansed and I was freed from all the mistakes I, I made. And so you can take that hand washing water and make the sign of the cross. Or when you're thirsty and you're drinking water and, and you're like, oh, this is so good. The waters of baptism are also so good and so refreshing. So water does a lot of great things for us. And water that we use for baptism is extra special because it reminds us that we are loved. So this week, whenever you wash your hands or have a drink of water or maybe uh, see some water somewhere, a lake or something, I want you to remember that you are baptized and you are loved by God. Have a great week and I will see you soon. As we prepare to end Sunday School, we want to take a moment to pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Amen. So now for this song, we're also going to go back towards the beginning of the year and take one of our songs that we learned. And we only did it with just me singing or with you, you and me singing along. But this time we're going to be able to add some instruments with it too. So it's going to go a little bit quicker, but we'll see if you can remember how it goes. So you've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And then we get to sing the peace that passes understanding. Remember that one's got a lot of words in there, but I think we can do it. And then the very last one is, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. So we'll show these pictures again to kind of help you out as you remember, but you can also just listen along as we get to hear it with some instruments and other people singing too. Hello again. Hello again. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the lesson today and that you're ready to kickstart the second part of our school year together, our Sunday school year together. So here's our prayer to send us off. And I wish you were around me because I want, would want all of you holding your hands on these fantastic memories and objects from baptism. But I'm going to have you pretend with me. So I pick the candle and I'm holding the candle in my hands. So if you want to hold your hands like this too for our prayer, and it'll be like all of us are holding the candle together. You ready? Dear Jesus, we thank you for the gift of baptism. Thank you for allowing us into your family and sharing all of your love with us. Help us follow your will in everything that we do. Amen. There you are, everyone. We will see you next week.